hi everyone my name is christy and welcome to my channel and today's video is about how to apply for a new canadian passport to apply for an adult passport you must be a canadian citizen and 16 years of age or older and these are the requirement checklist number one is the application form this must be completed and signed with one page certified by your guarantor a guarantor is someone who can confirm your identity. Your guarantor must be a Canadian citizen who is 18 years of age or older and who have known you for at least two years. Your guarantor can be a family or anyone living in your address, for example, your parents, your siblings, your uncle, your aunt, those are just examples. You may also use your friends as your guarantor as long as they meet the requirements. Your guarantor must be available when Service Canada or Passport Canada need to contact them to confirm your identity. And your guarantor must be willing to provide their information needed that's in their passport. Your guarantor must also hold a 5 years or 10 years Canadian passport. You must also find two references and they must be 18 years of age or older and have known you for at least two years. You cannot use your guarantor or your family to be your references. Your references must agree to use their names and contact information for your application. Your references must be available if or when Service Canada need to contact them. The second requirement for your passport application is two photos. One photo must be certified by your guarantor. At the back of one photo, your guarantor will write the statement, I certify this to be a true likeness of, and then they will put your name, and then your guarantor will sign it. And make sure the name and complete address of the photo studio must appear on the back of your photo. The number three requirement for your passport application is your proof of Canadian citizenship. You will submit your original certificate of your Canadian citizenship. The number four requirement is one valid document to support your identity. The ID that you must submit must include your name, date of birth, photo, signature, and must be issued by a federal, provincial, or state government authority or equivalent abroad. Examples are foreign passport or driver's license. If you are submitting a photocopy of your driver's license or your foreign passport, it must be signed and dated by your guarantor. And the number five requirement is the application fee. Now, let's go to the official website of the Government of Canada and find the application form for Canadian passport. Just type in canada.ca and click English and it will direct you to this page. You can click get a passport or the other way is click travel and tourism. What I did is click get a passport and then scroll down and then click apply for a new adult passport. Click how to apply and then scroll down and then where are you applying from click canada and then click get information just scroll down and then click adult general passport application form and this will direct you to the adult general passport application you just need to fill out this form and don't forget your signature and the date This part of your application form is the declaration of guarantor. You must complete and sign all three pages of the application form before requesting your guarantor to validate and sign this section. The instruction guide on how to apply for a Canadian passport can be found on the last pages of the application package. In the application package, this is where you will find the requirement checklist for your Canadian passport application. For passport application fee, 
this part shows how much you will pay for your passport application. If you are applying by mail, the method of payment they require is credit card or prepaid card or a certified check or money order, postal or bank, in the exact amount payable to the Receiver General for Canada. If you are paying by credit card, you need to complete this part, the credit card information section. Due to COVID-19, it is recommended that if you will apply for a new Canadian passport, you should apply by mail. For urgent travel, and if you need your passport in two business days, you may call the Service Canada call center directly and they will give you information on how to apply for a Canadian passport. Service Canada strongly encourages you to mail your documents by traceable mail or by certified courier so you can track your envelope at all times. And this is where you can send your application for a Canadian passport. On the last page of your application package, you will find the Canadian passport photo instructions and photo specifications. So that's it guys. Hope you learned something from this video. Thanks again for watching and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks!